All right, welcome back to Fallout 3. Off we go to go look at Meyer Lurks. <laughs> Hooray! And see you there! Hi, Lucas. <laughs> Good thing I've already found it. And, well, okay, well, okay, it's over here. Off we go. Ah, here's the entrance. Sneak our way in. Or we have to go not murder things, but observe things. Yeah, observation's gonna be rough with those things. Yeah, good thing I've already have a couple stealth boys. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Activate stealth mode. Mm -hmm. You don't see me. I am invisible. As I slowly make as much noise as possible. Ooh, blood pack. This isn't probably helping out. Oh, hi, Wastelander. You probably picked a bad location to set up camp. Oh, well. We observe now. Oh, it's Ted. A note for Ted. What's going on with this? No for Ted. Ted, the Mirelurks busted out of the storage area and have been re uh, raising hell through the whole facility. Uh, Price says the bastards got smarter every day. He says, I'm paranoid, but I think somebody might be sabotaging things around here. We've taken on so much extra help, I don't know who I can trust around here anymore. Things aren't looking so good. I don't think I'll be walking out of here, and I figure you should be the one to get our stash. I managed to get it hidden pretty well. And in case uh, anything like this happened, I don't want any of these damn fools tripping over it, so I threw a couple of curves in. But it's nothing uh, you can't handle. Start with my terminal, just log in, follow the instructions, and if you, and if for some reason you've gotten the password, you might want to sit down and have a think with the new Coca-Cola if you catch my drift. If this damn meat weren't in such high demand, I'd have pulled out of this racket before the word go. Uh, for the word go. <laughs> I got too greedy, Ted. Well. What's in the terminal? Uh, flavoring? Nope. Bartering? Hmm. Well, he did say have a nice long thought with Nuka Cola. Oh God, they saw me. Oh no. I'm in the caution. You can't fit back there. Nope. Oh, I'm hidden now. Yay. Where'd you hide? It finally didn't see me anymore. Oh, that's where the access code is. Oh. That's what he meant by it. I Yeah. There you go. Um, initialize water management system. Unlock security and medical safe. Ted, remember I hide this stash for you to find. Don't trust anyone, especially anyone who works for me. Do this alone. I busted the storage door down near the service entrance. There's a floor safe in the clinic that uh, contains the parts to fix the broken door. I also left the repair manual just in case you've gotten rusty, but um, you were always a wizard with a wrench. So I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll get going. Hmm. Oh. Well... Okay. So now I gotta find this thing. 
This is interesting. We have ourselves a little scavenger hunt while we're also trying to take care of these, uh, this mire lurk nest. Yeah. I kind of like this. Never did it before. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've always done the mire lurk thing there, but I've either, right. I've either ran in, did it all, and then ran out, or I just killed them all and then sort of failed, but I never did it in this fashion. Hmm. Ooh, can I make a shish kebab? Nope, I need a pilot light. Ball cap mine. Nope. Need a need a lunchbox. Okay. I just gotta be The stealth boy has worn off. Oh no. Okay. Another? Last one. Alright. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess let's go downstairs and let's go get things moving. Oh, shoot. No, no. Don't don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. It's just caution. It's not danger yet. Okay, gotta go think go around the long way. Downstairs we go. Let's go find this nest. She almost landed on a freaking one. Oops. A big old oops. Do I have to go downstairs, downstairs? Don't kill any Mylarks. Place the observer in spawning pod in the Anchorage War Memorial. Okay. Is this a facility bay? Is this outside? Nope. Okay, good. Good. Now I gotta go down there. Yeah! Okay, is this the spawning bay? Okay, observer can easily be hidden in the mass of eggs. Hide the observatory device. Now I gotta return to Moira. Come on, me. Hopefully this, this stealth boy does not fail while I'm leaving. I do not need it to run out right now. Let me go ahead and do this for Moira, then I'll come back, I'll murder all the freaking... <laughs> I'll, I'll murder all these guys, and then I'll just take all their meat, and then I'll find out where I need to go for this little for this little thing. Okay. I, th I think that might be the... The, the best thing I could do. Okay. Because she said I can't murder any of them for her observation. But she said nothing about not murdering them after. after. Yeah. That's right, not after. That is totally okay. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Dang it. Don't look at me. Oh, stealth boy failed. Gotta run now. Oh boy. <laughs> what do you mean it failed? What happened? It just wore off? Yeah, it just wore off. Okay. okay. Gotta go. Gotta go. Here's the exit. I almost made it. Almost. Yeah. It's a good thing they can't open doors. Yes. Alright, let's go home. Alright, hey, it's still daytime. Let's go talk to Moira. Yeah. Up we go, Myra. Open up. I've got information for you. Hi, Myra. Huh? Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? Hm. Oh, what's up? I highly doubt a human body can survive without a stomach. Yeah, without the spleen, yes, and it's hard to. Yeah. Very difficult. Well, let's talk about those Meyer lurks, shall we? So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priest? Ooh, or some sort of scaly community center? Um, well, I slipped the uh, observer in with the eggs, and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. 
But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Um, definitely vicious and highly territorial. Uh, they descend from local crabs. Um, I'd call them the Scylla Serrata Horundus. No, they don't seem to fight each other, so no struggle for leadership. It's like they are just got a little uh, bubbly castle and they spend all day circling it. It's <laughs> and like, nah, here we go, intelligent route. That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp rafts. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Alright, got a couple stealth boys. And a shady hat. Okay. Okay, let's do the injury research now. I feel like hurting myself. Great! I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them so trying to fix right away. Yeah. Trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Right, so I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really. That's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. A little oxymoron? Yeah. Very well. Let us do this. Bye bye. All right. Easiest way actually is to just keep jumping down from here or something. And you get hurt. Ta da! Like that. Okay. Completed. <laughs> what completed injury? Yeah. Oh, Although I'm not, I'm not so crippled. That needs to be the thing. You're not maimed enough. Yeah, not not hideously maimed. Okay. So, eat, eat some food so that way then I have more health to me. And then, let's jump down again. Trying to get her worth? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, something broke. Yeah, me. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. Just click. Round two! Wee! I need to do it again. Oh. Hey, you died twice. <laughs> Sorry. Let, let's not fall all the way down. I just want a crippled limb, that's all. Well, you're killing yourself right now. It's not working. All right, right there. How about this? There you go. Let's land right there one more time. Up we go! And now get ready for the express elevator! All the way down! Still not crippled. I want to be crippled. Very well. Let's see now. Wow, nothing is crippled. Wow, I'm I'm rather sturdy. What what here? Let me just drink some water. Maybe it's because I'm I'm very irradiated that I can't become crippled. You think that would do it? Yeah, it actually is. Oh. Okay, here let's let's rat away it a bit. There you go. 
no longer no longer radiated. Now heal myself up with a stim pack, so that way then I can fall back down, no problem. And that should be able to do it. Uh oh. There you go. Still still not there. I I just want me some crippled limbs. Wow, these these limbs are very difficult to cripple. You're very sturdy. I am. Fine then. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop some stim packs on me. Why? So that way then I can do something even dumber than that. You're gonna die again. Well, you don't know until you try. You tried two times in a row. Well, this might be the third. Frag grenade! Oh, and you stand oh. next to it. There you go. That that didn't hurt me at all. Come on. There we go. That's the ticket. Yeah. Now how injured are you? I'm a crippled boy. Are you? Under 50, got crippled limbs. Okay. Pretty bad crippled limbs. Okay. Right. Back to Moira? Back to Moira we go. It's the grenades that did it, not the fall. Oh, really? Yeah. The fall either killed you or it didn't. Yeah. Fall for damage, frag for cripple. Yeah. Alright. Still crippled? Yeah, still crippled. Hi. Well, how do you feel? Well, like a like a meat sack with bone that's broken. <laughs> um Oh I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. But try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. <laughs> That's all I say. Yeah. <laughs> the adrenaline helps. So does the fear of death. There's a lot of both. Intelligence, pain's an abstract. I stay focused on the definable things like survival. Endurance. I hardly even feel pain anymore, honestly. My only solace is thinking about inflicting this pain on people like you. <laughs> Um, we'll go with endurance. I hardly feel pain anymore, honestly. Uh, well, actually, uh, intelligence. Intelligence would be the way to go, I guess. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? <laughs> Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Kind of difficult, oh. and. There's bone sticking out. Walking around like this. All right. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure too. Oh boy. And I suspect this completes the second chapter research. Correct. Correct as always. And your feedback's really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. Okay. What is the last chapter, then? The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole, and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Uh, hmm. Local history, old technology, library. Where should we go? Technology or library? That's the choice. Yeah, you could you could research local history. You could uh, look about using old technology or check on a library. Okay, uh, the second one, the library. Library? Okay. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. 
But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? <laughs> books are where the old world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Very well then, I shall go check out the local library. Great. The library should be in Old Arlington, not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of information could help the book, and thus, humanity. Very well. And see what you have for sale. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that shady hat as well. What do we have here? Oh, sneak and perception. That's what it does. Mm. Cool. But it doesn't help with my explosives. Or big guns. <laughs> See now, anything else? Bah. Oh well. Well, I guess I'll get going now. So that was fun. I hurt myself. I saw Mire Lurks. It was all well and good, so. Huh? What? Yeah, I know. It's fine. <laughs> and with that, I think now would be a good time to end it and. I honestly want to go over to Arafu to go deliver that note because also there's another bobblehead over there that I want to get. Well, let's go. I'm going to go do that in the next one. So, hey, thanks so much for anyone watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. See you later. Oh, <laughs> oh and you fall again. Not to worry. There's an infirmary in my room.